Hello everyone, my name is Jackie. I'm the creator of WooBuddy. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite character, uh, Totoro. He's from a very famous Japanese animation and it's very fun to make. So first thing you need is some of white wool. So you fold it, your material as firm as you can. So this will help you to speed up like this and then use a felting needle just poke the fiber so like really gentle slow you don't have to do this too quick so what it does actually push the fiber down to compress it so really nice gentle so now we have this very nice shape and we still we still need more belly and then we can just grab this uh, extra piece here and put it in the center. So it's like work with clay. If you need less, you can just take it out, or if you need more, just add it up. Just keep poking, the fiber will blend together. So like this is a gray color, and we just give it a thin layer to cover it. So you organize your material a little, so make it nicely even, flat. So and cover this, then poke it. I usually poke the edge first to lock those fiber in place and then work on the rest. Okay. <clears throat> so now we need more. It's a little fine. To create a head. Yeah, Totoro is a really uh, cool creature living in the forest. So like this um, wide area, we can just really easy to just place another piece on top and just poke those fiber in and cover the white spot. Okay, so now we have a very, very basic shape. Okay, so we have a little belly, the head, uh, the back. Okay, and so we need to keep working. So treat this as like a clay. So I want to create a nose, a nose and a mouse. So I just roll it a little bit. Roll a piece here and place this into a center and just poke. So now we have the nose area and I can start forming a shape so if I want to go this direction and I can just poke on this this direction so the shape will go this uh, create this line and I can work on this here Alright, and now it's the time to use a bigger needle. Be very careful, this is a um, very big needle. 
it works very well, but it's be very careful. Okay, for the surface, really nice uh, poke. Just push, push, push the fiber in. Now it's smooth. So more you poke it, smaller and smaller. Once we have this little character, and I can put nose. So also grab a little piece for the nose, and then push this here, and then poke this in. This direction you can see better. Hmm. Okay, now we have nose. Forehead, and then grab a little um, some white and wrap your palm, and then place this in here and create the an eye. some eye dot pupil so just draw a little two little um, black and then put it in the center and just push in so now it looks more alive still fix this here a little Okay, now we have face and then we need the tail. So tail is the same thing. You can just wrap, fold it, fold it really firm. fiber will lock in place and also maintaining the shape I want it so 
so we have one piece here so i always left the uh the end a little fluffy as uh, the wool woven so it's like clay if you want to join two pieces together and you can just um, separate this give a little um extra to connect like here you can just place this here in the center and then just poke so this way will keep the same shape and you still have enough fiber to connect and it blends very well on the mat and also use your finger to form the shape as well and you flip and you poke so now we have a a nice little uh, triangle shape so I always leave here a little fluffy and as like original uh, the wool woven and then we can place this here and then poke those in piece on top and poke it all right once this two ears lock in place and then we can let's do this again let's see another piece here let's push those in We can use a bigger needle to make sure all the fiber will lock inside. Now I have very two very nice ear. And now we need to work on the arms. So also grab a little piece of uh, felt and then roll it a little make a two little uh, tube shape and then place on the side and poke all right and also on the other side So now we have a, well, this total shape. It's almost there. So now we need to work on the details. So just take a little bit of the wool and then twist a little. We need like this a little shape here. And then we place in the center here. And then just poke this in. Make another piece, place here, here, okay, so totally I think we need five of those or six of those, probably five would be good. six yep so we have this line and 
Then we make a very thin layers of white, like very, very thin layer. It's like a mix your watercolor and you want to uh, cover with another really thin layer. Right, we're almost there. And you can use a bigger needle. Push those all those in. And then we finish our and then we finish our little uh total. Oh. 